Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel again. Welcome back to another episode 3 video. Uh, in this one, I'm trying Forza Horizon 5. Uh, so, yeah, I have uh, successfully tested the Forza Horizon 5, uh, but this will be for the RTX series users. I don't know if this mod will work on GTX or AMD card or not because I don't have uh, any of those cards, I only have the RTX 2060. So, yeah, you guys do try and tell me uh this is still in beta version like uh, there are still some issue remains like uh, which i will show you and talk you through and i will also show you how to avoid those issues so right now i am on uh, 1440p playing on 1440p because 1080p is like giving me very high fps 120 125 so i am unable to show you like how much fps boost it was actually so yeah right now i am on 1440p the graphics presets is on high everything is on high ray tracing is off uh, so yeah uh, okay so one thing i have to tell you that uh, do set uh, the environmental texture quality and environmental geometry quality to high uh, do not use these two things on ultra or else your mod will be stopped working after uh, 10 to 15 seconds of the gameplay because whenever you have to render like uh, uh, i mean a uh, long distance trees and all uh, the mod will stop working so yeah uh, set everything on high uh, and yeah right now my fps without the mod is around uh, 90 90 to 100 uh, depending on the texture and scenario and sometimes even going to 8085 uh, yeah so now let's begin the mod uh, i'm playing on controller if anyone's wondering uh, okay so first of all uh, download this zip from the link in the description for the horizon 5 episode 3 extract it to the desktop after that open the folder copy everything inside and go to your for the horizon installation folder for me which is here for the horizon 5 and paste everything right here uh, also i want to mention that my game version is uh, 1.624.534 uh, so if you are not updated please update to at least this version because i'm trying on this version i cannot say anything below this version if your game is on this or above then you can tell me that this mod is not working for you uh, otherwise i can't help you if you are not at least on this version uh, and then after pasting uh, bring up the folder uh, you can maximize it then go to dlss twix.ini open the file with uh, notepad or notepad plus plus whatever text editor you got uh, you can full screen the text for better uh, accessibility and then scroll down to the middle section of the text and find the line uh, where it says other dlss such as dlss frame gen find this line and then come below that line like between the semicolon and the nvgx and delete the semicolon just de delete the semicolon nothing else and after that text side the text file then go to your installation directory of forza 5 click on the address bar then right click and hit copy i mean copy the path uh, you have to copy the path then go back to the text file and then uh, you need to delete this text from this side do not select from this side or else you will delete a line by mistake so select it from this side until the word c do not select the space above it just select the word c then delete it then right click and paste the path you have just copied come to the end of the path and press a uh, backward slash from your keyboard then again cite the text file open the installation folder again and find the file called dlss dlss tweak wrapper dot dll then right click on it click on rename uh, select the name of the file and copy do not copy the file just copy the name of the file including the dll if you can't see the dot dll you need to click on view and enable the file name extension like if this is disabled uh, most of the time you cannot see the extension of the file so be sure to enable the file extension uh, okay so now you have copied the name of the file uh, you can bring up the text again full screen and where you have placed the backslash earlier um, paste the name here uh, right click paste uh, that will be all for the uh, editing 
uh, tweaking so then click file then click save close the text file launch the game you guys can skip 10 to 20 seconds ahead okay now i have load up the game uh, now i got few things to talk about uh, which are uh, first things uh, you want to go to option then go to video and uh, you will see that the dlss technologies and every uh, frame generation and everything has come up so switch on the dlss technology if it was off earlier switch it on then select your dlss quality whichever you like i'll set it to uh, maybe balanced because i'm playing on 1440p so 1440p balance actually is from like 900p which is actually equal to 1080p quality so yeah uh, 1440p balanced uh, then you can see the frame generation uh, turn it on if it wasn't on already and you can set this to on or on or boost whichever you like i like the on most because on with boost uh, pressures your cpu so yeah i do that uh, you need to do this from the main menu because once you load up the game and uh, run your car you cannot do that uh, there uh, you cannot do this edit there i'll show you uh, so hit back save and continue i'm just gonna make it full screen wait a second there we go Uh, so yeah um, I'm here at the uh, festival site and as you guys can already tell the mod is working previously it was around like 80 to 90 and now it's 125 130 uh, but you have to remember that this is on 1440p not 1080p if it was on 1080p maybe it would have given me more higher I'll switch to 1080p just to show you guys like how much further it can get uh, but first uh, let me tell you one more thing uh, if you look carefully behind the car uh, like at that bottom of the screen you can see a little bit shadow flickering uh, it's not very much noticeable when you are facing on the sun like wait let me turn the car around uh, yeah like when you are driving towards the sun or like the shadow is behind you you cannot notice it but when you are driving away from the sun you will notice it uh, when driving at high speed uh, so yeah i could not fix that i tried many things but could not fix it hope there will be an update which fixes this and so yeah let's switch to 1080p for a bit to see how much fps more we can get you can already tell it is locked at 143 because right now i am using my monitor as 144 hertz uh, it's a 165 but i still use that 144 because i like the input latency better of the 144 and uh, it's all uh, all time lock at 143 like when i play competitive games like apex uh, so yeah as you can see this mod is fully working uh, there is just the this ghosting issue behind the car and nothing else uh, no hood flickering no crashing or anything you can play as long as you want uh, also msi after burner is supported uh, and nvidia after uh, overlay is also uh, supported so yeah this will be it guys uh, if this video helps you uh, subscribe to the channel uh, leave a like uh, if you face any kind of issue comment down below uh, i will try to help you also leave the discord link i will leave the discord link uh, at the description if you need more files or help uh, so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy